It doesn't happen overnight. Any change that you want to make takes a little bit of time, right? And getting good at eating for performance, for example, just doesn't happen. It's not something that you commit to once and then do perfectly for the rest of your life. And all of us struggle no matter what stage of our journey we're at. And I wish it was easy for most people, but the reality is it's not, even when it seems really simple, right? So getting good at eating performance, you know, takes daily commitment to certain um, success steps. And here's five that I've used. One, I ditched calorie counting and if it fits in your macros approach and cheat meals or using food as rewards. Step two, I focused on eating more minimally processed foods and ditching supplements. Step three, I started eating consistently at similar times per day by creating a meeting with myself in my calendar and sitting down to eat those meals. Step four, I simplified my meal planning and prep and outsourced aspects I could, including you know writing meal plans for myself or getting ready to make uh, vegetables and so on. Step five, I aligned my eating with my goals. I pay attention to how my food feels and I use different plans for on and off season to keep me on track. The two things I find probably the most helpful for people looking to unlock their athletic performance or change their body composition is to focus on steps two or four, which is around eating uh, less processed food and um, basically outsourcing what you can. Because these are the practical skills that help master the foundation for more advanced protocols. So which steps do you find the most helpful in keeping you on track? Comment below.